TLO, what's poppin'? We are on Twitch. We are not live, but you can leave a like, comment, subscribe, turn on your post notification bells, man. Let's continue to grow the family from Chicago to the UK. Um, don't forget, we are partnered with the Blueprint Mastermind, man. The link's down in the description. Uh, we had we did do a round table. Here it is. I'm going to leave this link in the description. So go watch it if you want to. Go tune in. Go leave a comment. Do whatever. You know, we there. <laughs> um, what was I? Oh, I was here. Uh, remember now, viewer discretion is advised. I do not glorify, sensationalize, or condone any of the acts and stories told. I am here simply to educate myself and others on the history or current state of issues around the world. Now, this is Lowski, man, from Harlem Spartans. This is Lowski. My boy. Okay. I, I think this is the case from three years ago he got... This this charge this is by Scar City News by the way Scar City Studios I mean um, this this current charge but let me hear man let me let me go people I don't want to Kennington drill rapper Lowski most famous for his association to Harlem Spartans has today been convicted of firearm charges the police said in a statement that the jury heard in the trial how fascinated Lowski was with firearms and also gang lifestyle. And they said on his phone they found numerous Google searches for firearms and also ammunition in the months prior to his arrest. It was only a few weeks ago he appeared on Kenny All-Star's Mixtape Madness. Was this, so this is the, the charge for some year that he caught three years ago or something, two years ago, whatever. Uh, they took it to three different drawers. Or what, three performing different? a freestyle for a Christmas special. But in two days, he will be sentenced for this conviction. Gang, still anything could get burst. Most of been touched. We don't want look, he's a pup. The prosecution said this was a case involving firearms violence and gang disputes in South London. And a jury on the 4th of January found the 23 year old, whose real name is Gerald O'Connor, guilty of possession of a loaded revolver. The conviction is part of a three year investigation. Okay, yeah, this is the charge from three years ago. In the, in the and the, the, the case was, did you have the gun or not? Period. <laughs> Led by Detective Constable Andy Snazzle from the Metropolitan Police's Crime Command, the judge and jury heard that Lowski was a prominent member of a South London gang who was involved in ongoing disputes with other gangs in Brixton. On the 9th of April 2019, Lowski was getting into an Uber car under a false name and unarmed officers stopped him and the vehicle on St Andrews Road in Westbury. Police searched the vehicle and found a small black sock and something inside it underneath the front passenger seat. This is where O'Connor had been sitting. Inside the sock was the black loaded revolver. He was arrested on suspicion of being... Four millimeter? What is this? Okay. In possession of a firearm with intent to endanger life. He was charged on the 10th of April 2019. I honestly don't even think you could take a life with this. With pos possession of a firearm with intent to endanger it's life and this? possession of prohibited ammunition. Forensic analysis of the firearm confirmed that it was a Flaubert calibre 4mm and it looks like a very small gun but it's actually very popular and police recover these guns all the time. His DNA was found on the loading face of the cylinder and this is the covered part of the firearm and it wouldn't be accessible without somebody opening it. So this was part of the prosecution's evidence to secure the So what did he try to blame? Like, oh, it was, I don't know whose it was. It was in the, it was in the Uber. It ain't mine. Like, no one, like, in my head, like, okay, I know I, my DNA is all over this. I would have took, a, I would have plead out. I would have pled out. I don't even care. Now, he was free for three years. Maybe that, I'm pretty sure he was on, like, I don't know what he was on. He was out on bail, probably, right? Or or was he on house arrest? Maybe they might give him some time. I, I don't know. Sure. Lowski denied the charge and said that he was forced to hold the gun by a drug dealer oh, who made threats one. to him and his mother's life. The jury rejected this and did not believe the defense. The police Got he said it. that he okay, was originally. This was that case. Where he was like, oh, I was forced to hold it. Yeah, was you forced to load it too? Three years ago, let me see. How popular was Lowski three years ago, man? Why are you getting in an Uber, first of all? 
Why is the Harlem Spartans, with all y'all 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 history of what is going on with y'all members, why are you putting yourself in this type of situation, man? Like this is when you reach a certain level of popularity in the music game, and you know you still got street beef. You know what I'm saying? Like get security. It's not. It's you're not. You're not soft if you got armored security, armed security. You're not. You're not, especially if you got something to guard, like your freedom and your and your and your life, because now you're getting money and providing for your kids and your. You know what I'm saying? Like you're not. Just get security, bro. Get a car. Did he stop that day? to be questioned in relation to events that led to the death of his friend, Latuan Griffiths, who was killed in July 2018. Latuan was fatally stabbed in an attempted shooting on a rival gang. They said that Lowski's DNA was found on a man bag that Latuan had wore at the scene of his murder. And officers also found his fingerprints on a reversible latex glove with gunshot residue on it. So this was them trying to connect Lowski to being at the scene with Latwan, so potentially being involved in the ride out. And that was the evidence that the, the police believed they had before they arrested him for the firearm. He hasn't faced any conviction for anything to do with any weapons at the scene of Latwan's death. And nobody has ever been convicted of killing Latwan either. Latwan, AKA Lats, was 18 years old when he was killed. He was from Southwark and he was murdered on July the 27th, 2018. A witness said that the moped rider was telling Latwan to hold on, hold on, but he couldn't hold on and collapsed and was found in the Camberwell area. The police never found out where he was originally stabbed. Following Lowski's trial, the detective in charge of the case said, this has been a trying and challenging case with lots of twists and turns. I'm pleased that the jury have convicted him and he is guilty of these crimes. I have no doubt that O'Connor and his gang associates would have used the revolver in the future and I'm glad that we've got this weapon off the street. So this is a breaking news story coming from Croydon Crown Court and we'll definitely update you on Friday when he's sentenced in relation to this case. Please don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe and check out previous coverage on Harlem Spartans on the channel for anything to do with this story. You're moving kind of quick now. Go back now. Come on, go back, go back. Now, now Friday has passed. He got sentenced, right? He got... Uh... Kennington drill rapper Lowski, most yeah, famous for his association years? to Harlem Spartans, has today no. been convicted of firearm charges. The police said in a statement that the jury heard in the trial how fascinated Lowski was. My computer's moving mad slow. I think he got convicted, and, and, and he got seven years. Um, if anybody knows the other details of the case, let me know in the comments, man, because I'm, I'm not the case of the sentencing. Seven years, like how much of it is, how much of it is um, time served, or is he getting any, or what's going on, man? Tell me, leave a like, comment, subscribe, turn on your post, I'm gone.